When Elon Musk became CEO of SpaceX, he had only one mission in mind – to reach Mars. Now, after a decade of being at the helm of affairs, he's perhaps as close to Mars as he's ever been. But even that's not close. Present estimates say that a trip to Mars could take us up to eight months. The time it could take to make the trip itself is already discouraging enough. Now imagine the work that would be put in to innovations that would make a man trip safe. The amazing thing is that the trip doesn't have to be up to 8 months, it can be done in as short as 39 days. Sadly, SpaceX doesn't presently have the engine that could make this possible. But we do know a company that does have this engine and are currently testing it out. Welcome to Super Freaky Science, and in today's video, we'll be looking at the one thing SpaceX doesn't have – a Vasimir engine – and how this engine could potentially help humanity to get to Mars faster than thought possible. Before we start, I want you to do something for me – smash the like and subscribe buttons. Have you done that? Great, let's get started. This story, like many other great ones before it, starts with one man. Chang Diaz is a veteran of seven space shuttle missions, tying the record set by Jerry L. Ross. Despite being born in Costa Rica, Chan was able to work his way up and went on to obtain a PhD at the prestigious MIT. He then had a successful career as a NASA astronaut and is now in the NASA Astronaut Hall of Fame. But we aren't bothered about Chang's NASA career, we're more focused on what he went on to do after his career at NASA. After leaving NASA, Chang set up a company called the Astra Rocket Company. It wasn't your regular kind of company because it didn't have many interests. The entire company was created because Chang wanted to work on an idea for a rocket he had as a PhD student. The idea he had was to build a plasma-based rocket propulsion engine. He developed the idea of a plasma-based engine during his time at MIT, and had put the development of the idea on hold when he was appointed to be a NASA astronaut in 1980. After retiring from service, he decided to follow the thread of his research to see where it led to, and where it led to was something called Vasimir. The name Vasimir means Variable Specific Impulse Magnetoplasma Rocket. The engine can simply be described as a kind of engine that uses radio waves to ionize a propellant into plasma. An electric power source is used to ionize fuel into plasma. Electric fields heat and accelerate the plasma while the magnetic fields direct the plasma in the propulsion in the proper direction as it is ejected from the engine, creating thrust for the spacecraft. The engine can even vary the amount of thrust generated, allowing it to increase or decrease its acceleration. This makes the Vasimir even more flexible than any chemical-based engine since it can alternate between high thrust and low efficiency and high efficiency and high thrust. That's why it's very useful for complex situations where the spacecraft has to accelerate or decelerate. Speed isn't the only advantage that the Vasimir has over regular chemical rockets. For one, the engine could also help protect astronauts from dangerous effects of radiation during the trip. Some even say the Vasimir engine, if developed quickly enough, could help keep the International Space Station in orbit without requiring extra fuel to be brought up from Earth. The idea of the Vasimir sounds great, and to non-science people, it would be easy to think that creating this masterpiece shouldn't be too difficult. After all, we already have the theoretical understanding of how it should work. How difficult could it be to put this understanding to work? Why isn't the Vladimir here? After all, Chang and his company have worked on it for over 10 years, and they seem to have gotten the hang of it. The problem, of course, is that they can't seem to put all the pieces together. So why is it too difficult to make? One reason is that the Vladimir is an experimental technology. Sure, Chang and his company are already in the testing phase of the tech, but before Chang came along, a plasma-based engine used to be something for science fiction books. So Chang had to rely almost entirely on his research and those of his team. 
We don't know if Chang has any big plans for the Vasimir. Big in this context means plans that equate to those that Jeff Bezos and Elon Musk have for the world. If, for example, he's interested in taking man to Mars, he'd simply build his rocket. But we suspect that would be too expensive a venture, and he would sell the Vasimir to the big corporation like SpaceX. Before we go to the last segment, we've got a super freaky science fact for you. And we've got a big wager to boot. If you knew this fact we're about to tell you before, do nothing. But if you didn't, you have to like and subscribe, and leave a comment. Deal? The average human body carries 10 times more bacteria cells than human cells. That's right, we are walking bacteria. If you haven't heard that super freaky science fact, then you need to smash the like and subscribe buttons right now. How close is the Vasimir? It's difficult to put that precisely into numbers, but what we do know is that it's close enough for Elon Musk to start wondering whether SpaceX is developing something like the Vasimir. And that's it for today, guys. Don't forget to smash the like and subscribe buttons. And remember to stay super, we'll figure out the science part for you. Bye.